welcome back dear friends once again so inside this class we are going to discuss about the clear property open your query iterator. so inside this i'm just going to create a div just multiple div you can see i'm just writing here this is header just we are going to create a basic website layout just a structure you can just duplicate just like this you can see this nav you can see nav bar this one is new bar. This one is you can say main content. Main content. And this one is just you can say sidebar. This one is footer. Just for very simple one. I'm just going to remove this because this n. So you can say we have just a container here. The width of this container is 1000 pixel. The background is just this one. The height is 490 pixel. I'm just going to put the height for this something maybe like auto for right now and here so let's just use some CSS in inline method the width for this you can say just thousand pixel or you can just set this to hundred percent which is equal to thousand pixel and the height maybe 75 px and the background color for this can be brown color and you can just save go to your web page and refresh so there is no background let's see brown we are all wn spelling mistake save and refresh so you can see and after that you can just use here also i'm just uh, doing some copy from here just for saving the time with 100 percent so height for this can be something like 50 pixel and the background color for this one i'm just going to use a very just bad green save and refresh so this is the green one after that you can just paste this here this for main content the width for main content can be something like the total visit width is thousand pixels so i'm just giving 800 pixel 8 pixel 100 pixel the height can be something like uh, 600 pixel the background can be let's just use a pink and the float property that we have discussed in our last classes i'm just putting this to the right side and you can just copy this once again Control c paste inside this sidebar one so the width for this can be 200 pixel and the background color for this can be something let's just use a total black background because no meter here save and refresh now you can see so here in uh, we are in the last section i'm just uh, doing or just styling the style tag you can see the width of this can be 100 percent or 1000 pixel and the height for this can be something 75 pixel and the background color let's just use here background color first select background brown color you can save and refresh now you can see i have just used here everything correct with 100 percent or you can say thousand pixel both of them are same height 75 pixel background brown so it is just not working again you can see the brown background color for the footer is not appearing so in this kind of just cases in this kind of problems you can use here the clear property and you need to just set the value both why it is just appearing because we have many element just we have used here the same property like with 100% 100% and this one is also equal to 100% and we have 75 pixel here 75 pixel two times 600 pixel so in this cases this kind of error will appear so you can just solve this by using clear both property now i'm just saving this go to your web page and refresh now you can see we have just the footer here so anytime if something appear just like this so first you can check the coding if you are just for example the width is okay the height is correct and the background color you have used just correctly 
so it is not working you can just apply the clear both property here so it have two ways if you are not using here inside css i'm just going to cut this from here control x just before this div i'm just going to start another div and div close a class and you can just give any nom name something like clr and you can apply this inside the style tag dot clr and here you can say clear both it is just working the same and giving the same result you can see just giving the same result so i hope you are understand uh, we have just discussed about clear property and uh, we are going to end this video here because mm, we don't have much point on this topic so i hope you have enjoyed from watching this video so once again uh, nothing is complete nothing is perfect so you are not perfect i'm not perfect the only one the only one is perfect so you can see it's god so you need to just work hard to make something perfect you need to just improve your skill level inside css inside html or any other languages just by working hard i have just told this many times so i'm just going to tell you just many time again and again because this is my experience if you just give time for anything so you can be just professional on that thing this can be just CSS3. If you are giving time to the CSS3, you are just watching the videos. You are practicing. I am sure it will give 100% result. You will be just an expert level of student or just uh, you can say expert level of uh, developer inside CSS3. So from the next video, I will come back. I will tell you just uh, about the new topic. So have a nice time and see you.